So grab your phone. Good, now turn it around. You see that little dot between the camera and the flash? That's a tiny microphone. Bet that's something you didn't know. What's it doing there? Well, when you're on a phone call, this little guy is busy at work reducing the amount of background noise other people hear when you talk. That's right, if it wasn't for this, calls wouldn't be as nearly as crisp as they are now. You're lost in the woods and you're rushing to get back to camp. You suddenly remember you've got something that can help. You grab one of your chest straps from your backpack and whistle on it. Yup, that's right. A lot of bags have this feature in them, especially the ones made for the outdoors. It isn't long before you hear the call of one of your friends and you follow them back to the warm campfire, saved by this cool bit of design. If you're a curious person, you might have wondered what that little pocket in your jeans is doing there. You know, the one that's inside the bigger pocket? People often use it to store coins and bills, but it's not meant for that. It's actually designed to store your pocket watch safely. Ah, huh. maybe that's where the name pocket watch comes from? <laughs> you finally arrive home after a long day's work. You understandably don't feel like cooking, so you sit on the couch and watch a bit of TV and order some takeout. How about Chinese? Ah, perfect. There's the doorbell. That has to be your food. It smells delicious. Wait, before you grab the plates, do this instead. Open your Chinese food container on the table. It becomes the perfect plate. And it's cardboard. Which means no cleaning either. The can of soda you got with your food has a cool feature too. Look at the tiny metal tab there, the one you use to open the can. Guess what? You can fit your straw in there. In fact, that's exactly what they're made for. Go ahead, try it for yourself. Keyboards have another hidden feature too. Have you ever noticed that the F key cap and the J key cap have little bumps on the bottom of them? As it turns out, they're there to help people figure out where they are on the keyboard without having to take their eyes off the screen. Grabbing a takeaway cup of coffee at your favorite cafe might be just what you need to fully wake up in the mornings. When you get back home or to work, though, you might be afraid to stain your desk when you put the steaming hot coffee down. Worry not, your plastic lid isn't only good for keeping your coffee hot, it also doubles as a coaster. In fact, they're the perfect size to hold a cup. Try it for yourself. Black stripes on yellow school buses aren't an element of design. They're actually metal rails put along the sides and the back of the bus to protect its rather thin walls. In case of a collision, they absorb most of its force. It means that the crash doesn't affect large areas. These rub rails are also positioned in strategically important spots. The lowest one runs at the floor level. The middle one matches the bottom of the seats, and the top one corresponds either to the top of the seats or the bottom of the window. Your ceiling fan can move in more than one direction for a reason. One is for summer, the other for winter. When the weather is hot, ceiling fans should move counterclockwise. This makes them pull the warm air up and push the cold air down. And the clockwise, winter mode, moves the warm air down and raises the cool air. As soon as you notice the blue bristles on your toothbrush start fading, it's a sure sign it's time to replace it. You can adjust your stapler so that it staples documents together only temporarily. It's done by rotating the crimp area. Most staplers have two options for stapling. One is standard, but the other side bends staples away from the center. Later, when you don't need them anymore, you can easily remove them by hand. Lots of people use a knife to remove strawberry stems. But this way, they throw away a lot of stuff they could otherwise eat. Instead of a knife, use a regular drinking straw. Insert one end of the straw into the bottom of the strawberry and push it gently all the way through. If everything goes as planned, the straw will pop the stem out. A tiny hole in a padlock bottom helps to drain the water from an outside lock after the rain. It prevents the thing from rusting and clogging. You can also use this hole to oil the lock's hinges so that it doesn't get stuck. If a lock doesn't have this small hole, you should only use it inside. 
It's a bad idea to place dirty dishes covered in mashed potatoes or any other leftover carbs closer to the sides of the bottom shelf of your dishwasher. Several studies have shown that such plates get washed better when you put them in the middle of the rack. So now you know. Weird markings on the bottom of a toothpaste tube have nothing to do with the ingredients. They're actually there for the factory robots. Not so they can brush their own teeth, either. Such a colorful square marks the line where the tube has to be cut and folded. Now, most cotton pads have two different textures on each of their sides. One surface is firmer and more absorbent. It's supposed to be used with nail polish remover. The other side is way finer and softer. You should use it to remove facial and eye makeup. The color of your bead tie tells you when the bread was baked and how fresh it is. Blue means Monday, green Tuesday, red is Thursday, white Friday, and yellow is for Saturday. Not for all, but for most bakeries. But don't throw your bread ties away. Use them to fix broken flip-flops, organize your hanging cords, label which plug goes to what in a power strip, or just wrap your earphones around them to keep them from tangling in your bag or pocket. Frisbee started their life out as pie containers. After enjoying some delicious dessert, students started throwing the empty tin plates to each other. It turned out to be really fun and eventually became its own toy. The fur on the hood of your winter coat is there to keep heat near the face. It's great at catching wind and snow, too. The hole in your spaghetti spoon helps you measure the perfect portion. It's just enough for one person, so multiply that by however many you need. To prevent water from boiling over, just lay a wooden spoon across the rim of the pot. It only works for a little while, though. If the spoon surface gets heated up to boiling point, the bubbles will just foam up and around it. That's why metal spoons won't do. They heat up too quickly. Does the audio jack to your headphones have one, two, or three stripes? One band means your headphones just play sound, two means stereo sound, and three mean the headphones also have a microphone. The hole in a donut helps it bake evenly throughout. Without it, you risk getting crispy edges and a gooey center. Well, unless you put some cream or jam in that center. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Silica gel packets can absorb up to 50% of the humidity in a confined space. So use them around the house. Tape one to the lid of a container of dry goods, be it dog treats, breadcrumbs, cookies, you name it. Throw one in each of your dresser drawers. Just make sure they don't get accidentally eaten. Some erasers have two colors and textures, not for pen ink versus pencil lead, but for different types of paper. You're supposed to use the blue side to remove pencil marks from heavy grades of paper. Most people use bobby pins upside down. The zigzag part goes closer to your scalp. The texture keeps the hair and pin in place much better. Ever notice the tiny second hole in the lid of your coffee travel mug or go-to cup? It's there to control how smoothly the liquid flows out of the drink hole. It also lets the steam escape. So, the high temperature and buildup pressure don't melt the lid or send it shooting off. Same principle with your gas can. Next time you go to fill it for the lawnmower, leave the second hole on it open. It's to prevent gas glugging and thus spilling. Dents on golf balls help them fly further and faster than if they were smooth. They don't help it go toward the intended target, which is the part that I really need. The hole in your frying pan's handle could hold your stirring spoon and keep it from messing the counter or stovetop. That fluffy ball on your winter beanie has mysterious origins. While they probably go back even further, what is known is that 18th century French soldiers wore these pom-poms on their caps to protect their heads from getting banged on low ship deck ceilings. That drawer on the bottom of your stove wasn't meant to store pans and cookie sheets. It's supposed to keep your dishes warm whenever you cook a large amount of food. As one dish cooks in the oven, it warms up the ready ones in the drawer below it. The hole in a pen cap is there in case the thing gets swallowed. It allows air to flow through. 
Lego heads have holes in them for the same reason. Go look at your bathroom sink. Really? See the hole up near the rim? It's there to prevent overflows. Excess water goes into the siphon, and your floor stays dry in case you forgot to shut the water off. It also helps your sink drain faster instead of glugging down slowly as it fights air resistance. The hole gives that air somewhere to escape. There's a special oval-shaped compartment under the flap of the Tic Tac container. It's supposed to make it easier to extract one little mint at a time. Well, if you still like the idea of having a handful of them, I can't blame you. Which side of your car is the gas tank on? Well, it may be a tricky question if you're driving a rented vehicle or some brand new wheels, but just look at the little gas pump on your dashboard fuel indicator. The little arrow points to which side the tank is on. Holes in tube-like coffee stirring sticks help reduce resistance from the liquid so they can stir the sugar more efficiently, and we're thankful for that. This design also makes the plastic stick sturdier and protects it from bending in hot water. And manufacturers save money by using less plastic when the thing is hollow. The microwave door looks completely black when it's off, but when you're heating up your food, you can see through it. Look closely. It's not just a black glass. It's a special mesh against regular glass. This protective metal screen keeps the microwave energy inside. A pack of cotton pads has those strings on it so that we could hang it on some hook or holder. And no, there's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom of the pack. It has a perforated line. Tear along it, and now you're good to pull out a cotton pad. If you've ever tried a Nintendo cartridge to taste, you'll confirm that they taste revolting, leaving a sour, bitterish aftertaste in your mouth. They're covered with denatonium benzoate, one of the most disgusting flavors ever known. Actually, this taste is kind of a hidden function. It prevents people from swallowing those cartridges. The utility knife is supposed to last way longer than most people think. The knife blade is made of narrow, parallel sections. When the instrument gets blunt, break off the top section with a cap you find at the bottom. Voila! You have a brand new sharp blade again. Just don't forget to put some safety gloves and goggles on first. Some button-down shirts have a button on the back of the collar. It's there so that the tie doesn't stick out from under the collar. As for that locker loop on the back, you can use it to hang the shirt on a hook without wrinkling it. A seemingly random diamond-sized hole in the elevator door is actually a keyhole. If the doors get stuck, an operator can open them manually by inserting a special key in this hole. The same tool is used when an elevator needs routine maintenance. The holes in the bottom of earphones allow air to circulate up and through the speakers. It helps to increase low frequencies, making the bass sound deeper. The whole sound quality also becomes much richer. Diamond slits on backpacks were originally placed only on traveler bags. Their only purpose was to carry ropes. These days, you can find such slits on pretty much every backpack. Why not use them to carry a bottle of water, an umbrella, or a pair of sneakers? Ever use those flimsy, ribbed ketchup containers they have at fast food restaurants? Then you've probably wondered why they don't make them a bit bigger. But they can be. Just pull the ribs outward, and the container can house way more sauce. So, if you ever find yourself in a condiment race, you can always catch up. Catch up. Yeah. The hole in a lollipop stick is not a free whistle that you might have assumed. In fact, it's designed to save your life. The hole stops a person from choking if it gets stuck in their throat. If you struggle to peel an orange, there's actually a secret way to get into it efficiently. Cut into the peel at the top and bottom. Make a slit on one side, and then just pull it open. Yogurt is a great healthy snack to eat, provided you have a spoon with you. But if you don't, I've got a trick for you. All you need to do is twist the foil lid from the yogurt pot into the shape of a spoon. If you can't just get rid of the food stuck in your teeth, you might not be using dental floss the right way. It can be hard to get perfect results with loose floss. To increase the tension, tie it in a knot. That way, it won't hurt your hands as well. Grocery carts have metal loops on the sides for a reason. 
You don't really want to put your jacket in the cart next to the onions, do you? So hang it on one of the loops. These little things can help organize the space in your cart better. Two flat prongs you see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those holes near the tips? They're not always there, but there's a good reason manufacturers put them on plugs. Thanks to these holes, the outlet grips the plug more firmly. This way, it doesn't fall out. There are small, lined-up bumpers inside most outlets. They fit perfectly inside the holes on plugs. It's a win-win situation. The prongs are safe inside the outlet, but with enough force, you can still remove the plug. The second thing about the holes is that they allow you to wire electric power directly to the prongs. In this case, you don't even have to use an electrical outlet. Also, you can put a locking mechanism or bar through the prongs. This way, no one will be able to plug the device into an outlet. Airplane windows have little holes which might make you nervous when you see them. But they're actually extremely important, and a plane needs them to fly safely. These holes protect you from the difference in pressure outside and inside the cabin. Most doorknobs are made of brass and other copper alloys, and it's not accidental. These materials are known to be self-disinfecting. And thanks to these antimicrobial properties, bacteria don't spread as much as they could. Different numbers are often put on the sides of many cosmetic products. These numbers aren't picked randomly. They tell you how long your product will actually last. This way, you won't put it on your skin after it expires. Those escalator brushes can clean shoes pretty well, huh? But they're actually made for safety reasons. When people are on an escalator, brushes keep them away from the sides. And this prevents bags and clothes from getting stuck. When you take a box of aluminum foil, pay attention to the tabs on the sides. You can press them in, and they'll keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. Ah, nothing better than a cold soda drink on a hot day. Soda cans come with a small tab that helps you easily open the beverage. But the hole in the tab also has its purpose. That's where you can put in your straw to stop it from floating up to the surface. Soda bottles also have small secrets of their own. Their long necks are made this way to keep your drink cool for a longer time. And if you only touch the neck of the bottle instead of its body, you won't have enough time to warm your drink up. Most plastic bottle caps have a soft little disc inside. Pull it out and you'll still be able to close your bottle. But if you don't have that soft part and turn your bottle upside down, the liquid may leak out. Another purpose of this soft pad is to keep your soda carbonated for a longer time. Binder clips are also a great way to apply your creativity. Grab one, hang your key on it, and then use it to bind your money and cards. A practical way to not carry too many things while going out. It can be rather irritating to see you can't finish your stick deodorant. There's a little more left, but it's hard to reach it. Okay, the trick is easy. Unscrew the bottom, take a pencil, and force it underneath the moving platform. This way, you'll push what's left of the deodorant out. A few more weeks of using the same stick? Hmm, not bad. The thermos bottle was invented by James Dewar, a Scottish scientist. The man wanted to keep his chemicals at a stable temperature. He took two bottles and put the smaller bottle inside the bigger one. Then he pulled out the air that remained between them. Later, it turned out that this system worked for food and drinks, too. The metal tip of a tape measure has a slit that lets you anchor it to a nail or screw. You can also press the tip against the surface to make marks when your pencil's not within reach. To open a glass bottle without a bottle opener, hold the bottle vertically by the neck. Press your thumb on the lid and cling the edge of it onto something hard. Gently hit your wrist, not the bottle, and the glass won't break, but the cap will pop off. You don't need a special scissor sharpener. Do those even exist? Cutting fine sandpaper or folded aluminum foil will do the trick. Coins haven't always had ridges on the edges. Back when they were made of gold and silver, people would shave off pieces from the sides and melt enough shavings to make a whole new coin. The ribs were put there to show the coin is still intact. Today, it's more of a tradition. You can use a penny to check the tread on your tires. Put the coin in between the tread lines with the head upside down. If you can see the top of the head, well, it's time to pony up for some new tires. That small square piece of fabric that comes with clothes, often with a button sewn to it, isn't for patching holes. 
It's so you can test if the material fades, stays, or pills in the wash before you throw the whole garment in the machine and possibly ruin it. Side holes in the bottom of Converse's are actually lace holes. Try looping your shoestrings through them, and you'll get a better fit with less rubbing on the heel. Paper margins started out as a way to prevent important information from winding up in a rat belly. People kept their writing away from the edges because that's where rats chewed books and paper in storage. You can change which side your fridge door opens on. Those round plastic caps on the top and bottom of the door, on the handle side, cover holes needed to do the job. You can use your car's detachable headrest to break the window in case you get stuck in. Just slip one of the legs down in between the door and the glass pane, and it'll shatter the glass with some shimmying. See the 57 etched into the neck of a glass ketchup bottle? That's where you're supposed to tap it to get the sauce out, not from the bottom. The number in the upper right corner of Heinz packets shows which line the packet was manufactured on. That's all. A Toblerone bar is shaped with those triangular tooth-like pieces, so you can break a piece off easier. Just press the mountain top on the end toward the one next to it. You mean somebody doesn't know this already? Tricolored toothpaste is a marketing trick to show you all those helpful ingredients. Red is for gums, white whitens teeth, and blue freshens breath. Solid color toothpaste has all these components, they're just mixed up. Toothpaste is good for polishing silver, but use the all-white one that has fluorine. You can also shine your silverware with ketchup. Just spread it all over the silver surface, wait a few minutes, and rinse with warm water. The folded flaps on top of juice boxes are there so you can hold the box without squeezing the liquid out. 